lovers, it's Freely the Banana Girl. Today is day, no, today is day nothing because I finished my 30 days, 30 videos in 30 days. Today is actually Monday and I'm doing a regular Monday to Friday slot of about, at about this time of about three minutes each video. So, you know, different topic each day. Make sure you leave any comments you have about that in the, the comments below. If you want a different subject, let me know. Give us a thumbs up if that's what you're interested in, if you like the Monday to Friday idea. And today's topic is how I got very sick on a raw food diet. So I know a lot of you out there are like, oh my god, great. You know, I'm coming to this lifestyle, I want to be healthy, I don't want to be sick anymore. Well, never fear, this is actually a very, very healthy way to eat. The raw food diet, the high carb raw vegan diet is a very healthy way to eat. But what I want to emphasize today is it's not the only thing. What you eat is not the only thing that's important to your all round health. And what happened to me back in 2009, I was staying at a friend's place and I was actually afraid to drink the water because the water was coming from upstream and it was said to have some chemicals in it from the conventional farm that was upstream. So I was very afraid to drink the water and I also went for a big bike ride in the heat and became very dry from that as well. I stopped peeing at night, I was peeing hardly at all during the day and my pee was very yellow when I was peeing. So I became very dry and actually contracted a staph infection. And this staph infection was severe. It was quite scary indeed. And to the point I was almost afraid for my life at one stage, I covered that my legs were covered in staph infections and my arms as well. I never experienced anything like this in my life, but I've never compromised my immune system this strongly, never been this dehydrated. So does that mean the raw food diet is deficient or you know it's the fault of the food? No, it's not at all. You know, you give it, you're giving your organism, your body, the best chance ever on a raw food diet. But there's more to the story. If you don't drink enough water consistently, if you don't sleep enough, you're going to com compromise your immune system and there's going to be potential invaders coming in and causing disease. Now, it doesn't make you invincible eating a raw food diet. It does make you healthier, but remember there's other things you have to incorporate to be healthy. And how did I overcome it? Well, I went on basically watermelons for about two months because I knew I had to lighten my lighten the digestive load so the healing energy instead of going to my digestion could go and heal the staph. And it did take a couple of months because it was quite severe. But I learned a valuable lesson. Keep hydrated. So that's my message today. Hope you found it helpful. Give us a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to go fruit or root yourself and I'll see you for tomorrow's episode. Leave some comments about what you want me to talk about. Alright, have a great day. Banana girl. Go through the chair.